much small businesses mean to the community. The spots everyone knows and loves bring us together as our local businesses or it makes our community unique and special. We know that over the years you've given back to our local nonprofits, schools, sports, police, fire, and our local businesses. We appreciate all of it so much and we would like to help you out by giving you a chance to say hello to the community and a chance to tell everyone all about your establishment. So now I'll let you introduce yourself and your business. Thanks, Mia. Uh, thanks for the introduction and uh, the kind words. Yeah, I'm Vikram Singh. I own Norfolk Wine and Spirits, uh, which is at the corner of um, intersection of 115 and 18. Tell us more about your story and how you got started. Well, you know, um, my background is uh, applied chemistry and environmental engineering. And uh, for about a decade, uh, uh, basically ending in 2000, I worked for a company called Clean Harbors Environmental Services. Fantastic company, you know, um, uh, gave me great opportunities to uh, really apply my, um, uh, you know, educational background and uh, also allow me to travel uh, all over the US, Canada, Puerto Rico. Uh, but that also meant that I was on the road uh, pretty much all the time. So uh, in 2000, I decided that was really not the way I wanted to uh, uh, continue living. But I had just got married recently. And uh, so I thought that, and I also wanted to work for myself. And uh, so I started a software consulting firm. My timing was impeccable. It was 2000 January. And in March 28th or something, there was a dot-com bust and layoffs and everything. So that was... Uh, it, we we uh, motored along, but that was not a very, uh, you know, um, right thing. Timing was off. And so basically I was looking for something else to do. And uh, in 2000, uh, we decided that why don't we buy a liquor store? You know, um, very different than what I did. But, um, and, but you know, uh, it could um, satisfy the entrepreneurial things. And people said, you know, uh, if economy is good. Uh, people drink and economy is bad, people still drink. So that's a little bit safer uh, from that standpoint. And so we uh, ended up uh, opening a liquor store, uh, buying a liquor store in 2004. I had a, par a partner in Taunton. Uh, at that time, uh, Norfolk Wine and Spirits were up for sale, but we could not afford it. Uh, and uh, so we decided to uh, move to Taunton. And that's where uh, I got started in the liquor industry. And in 2008, um, no, 2013, I'm sorry, eight years ago, uh, on Valentine's Day, we opened Norfolk Wine and as we took, took that over. What is your favorite thing about being a small business in Norfolk? Uh, tell you the truth, uh, uh, I had two daughters and uh, they were uh, uh, in third grade and fifth grade at that time. And uh, by the time they went to school, I was uh, still in bed. And by the time I came back, they were in bed. So uh, frankly speaking, that was a big driver to uh, be able to drop them to school, take them to doctor's appointment, a soccer practice. Uh, things along those lines. So that was very, very important for me. Uh, so I think that was, uh, you know, uh, when the opportunity came to purchase an offer one and spirits, I jumped at that. And also uh, my neighbors, I, I never really got to see my neighbors. Uh, we had a very nice community in Taunton and great relationship, great customers. But now in the last eight years, uh, I know my neighbors, I know the community, the general community in Norfolk and it's fantastic. Are there any events held at your establishment that you'd like to share with the community? Oh, uh, quite a few, Mia. Uh, we, since January, by the end of April, will have conducted about 100 events. And um, many of them in this era are um, Zoom, like uh, we're meeting today. Uh, so we do many events, which are, we call it virtual hybrid events. Uh, there's a restaurant uh, called Curry House in uh, Franklin. Uh, they are closed for in-person dining, but we have been able to hold some events there because uh, we can do social distancing, very limited to, you know, eight or 10 people. Uh, but now as things are opening up, we are expanding. Uh, we also do a lot of corporate events uh, where our corporate clients are uh, doing a happy hour or something, you know, some team building type exercises where we have done, um, uh, sorry, uh, uh, where we have um, uh, done sake tasting, bourbon tasting, cocktail, uh, things along those lines. Uh, we also, last week, uh, we had uh, Papaya's uh, Pizza, which is a local business uh, in Norfolk. So we had a food truck uh, in our parking lot and uh, they were sold out. They were very successful. So that was a fun event for the community. Uh, and yesterday on Sunday, we had uh, Cousins Lobster Truck uh, come in. And that again is very, very popular. People just come out in droves and um, it, it's been a lot of fun. So so the, quite a few events, about four to six events a week. And um, uh, basically, uh, uh, we're doing, uh, you know, quite a few events. If you 
go to norfolkwineandspirits.com, uh, you'll events page, you will be able to see what's coming up. So uh, you were kind of speaking on this a little bit. What is the best way for someone to find out more about Norfolk Wine and Spirits? Yeah, there are quite a few ways. Uh, the best way is if you want to get a feel for Norfolk Wine and Spirits, go to our webpage, uh, which is norfolkwineandspirits.com. Events calendar will give you uh, what events we held in the past and what events are coming up. Uh, but the truly the best way is to come in the store. Um, it's a small store, uh, uh, but at the same time, we pack a lot uh, in there. Uh, come take a look at things. If you're looking for something slightly different, uh, you're bound to find it in Norfolk. Is there a fun fact about your business that the community might like to learn? Yeah, so um, uh, quite a few things, but I think, you know, one of the things uh, people tell us, our suppliers uh, and uh, many customers, we have customers till um, before the pandemic hit, at least three customers used to drive every three months from Montreal to buy whiskey. And uh, many people come from New York, Philadelphia, as far as North Carolina. And I have a customer in Japan who comes twice a year <laughs> to buy whiskey. So uh, believe it or not, this little uh, store has whiskeys, which uh, many other uh, people across the US don't. So we have over, uh, depending on the week, you know, what we have in stock, but we have over 1500 whiskeys. And that makes us uh, one of the largest whiskey stores in the US. Uh, oh, wow. The yeah. In terms of number of selection, not volume or anything like that. <laughs> Uh, are there any final messages you'd like to send out to the community? Yeah, so um, we have, been, as I said, you know, we've been doing quite a few events. Uh, last Friday, we had a uh, Japanese whiskey tasting and uh, we had 16 people attend that in person, out of which uh, 15 of them either were fully vaccinated or partially vaccinated. Uh, so we're getting there. I think um, it's been pretty tough for everyone, you know, in the community and uh, the world. Uh, so we're very close. So I think we should not let our guard down. Let's kind of, uh, you know, get through this and, uh, you know, all good, be safe. And, um, you know, then we can get back to normal. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm Mia Valencia and thank you for tuning in.